All right, so this might be a bit of a crazy day, so I'm going to make this, uh, this video last minute. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to create something called a splash screen. So this is why. Here is my main character. Here is my enemy. And here is my uh, uh, what I'm trying to catch. All right. So if I hit the green flag, before I can even get my fingers onto the arrow keys, I've already lost life. Okay. Now I can still go around and, and get what I need, but that, that's an issue that I'm losing the life before anything even happens. All right. Also, if I don't move anywhere, once I hit zero lives, nothing happens. I, yeah, I'm not. There's no game over screen or anything like that. And that's what we're gonna work on today. Alright, so, anyway, um, what we're going to create is a splash screen so that you, it kind of prepares you for the game. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into choose a backdrop and choose whatever you want. I want to choose boardwalk just because I'm kind of in a beachy thing. So this is the background that's going to pop up when I open the game. But when you open the game, you don't want to see your score and lives already. You don't want to see the enemy or, or anything. So, we got to hide it all. What we're going to do is we're going to click on each one of our sprites. Actually, just click on your main one. All right, there's kind of a shortcut I'll show you. Grab A when the green flag is clicked, and then just go for, to looks and find hide. All right, that's all you need to do. Okay, so if I hit the green flag, notice my main character here. If I hit the green flag, he's gone. Okay. Now, I still have the other things, so let's work with these other two sprites. You could either go in here and build it again, or you could do this. This is the shortcut. Just drag it over and drag it over. Make sure that it lands on top of each of your sprites, and then if I click on them, you'll see that's where it is, and that's where it is. Okay. So now when I hit the green flag, they're all gone. But I still have these up here. So I'm going to go into variables. And this is still my main character. I want, If you notice, I want almost all the code on my main character. That just keeps it uh, organized for me. So that's the way I like it. So I'm just going to grab hide a variable lives. So when the green flag is clicked, lives will be hidden. And then I'm just going to grab that again and change this to score. So when I hit the green flag, now I have nothing, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, but I hit the green flag, there's nothing there. I hit my arrow keys, nothing happens. All right, so yeah, we now have a blank screen, which is a backdrop, but how does that help us at all? This is how it helps us. We're gonna go in, make sure you click your black backdrop, because up here, that changes the backdrop. When, when we're on uh, Sprite, it's that costume so that you can kind of change the look of your sprite. Uh, but when you're on backdrop, it'll, you can change the backdrop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. All right, so I'm going to put in here, uh, welcome to the watermelon author. Welcome to the watermelon game. All right, and then I'll make it nice and centered. About right. I wish that there were like lines that came up when it said, Oh, you're right in the middle. But this isn't like Google Slides, unfortunately. So, uh, and then you can change the color here because it's kind of hard to see. Hello? No. If I change the font too. I really don't like that. There we go. Make it a little darker. Yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Okay. All right, sweet. So I have welcome to the watermelon game, and now I want to uh, have a button on here that when I press it, it'll start the game. It'll go into uh, this backdrop, and all my characters will come back up and do their thing. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into code. I am going to grab a sprite. 
And I'm gonna grab, um, yeah, sure, I'll do, uh, I'll do the blue button. Why not? So I got the blue button right here. I'm gonna go into costumes and I'm going to uh, add text here that says start. Okay. Start. Center it up a little bit. Oh, look at that. It does have a little center. Okay. So now I got to start. Yay. So I hit my code and welcome to the watermelon game. Start. Nothing happens. But um, everything here is kind of static. I want it to maybe move a little bit. So I'm going to go into events. On the green flag is clicked. Motion. And uh, sure, why not? And then I want it to move a little bit. There we are. I'm going to change this to 0.5. And it should just bounce up and down. Oh, I got to put it in repeater. So I hit the green flag. There we are. So it bounces up and down. It's a little it's a little off. Let's make both these 17. Okay. So um, so this means that it's going to go from x negative 5 y17 to x negative 7 y17. I want uh, the y's to be the same, so it just goes straight up and down. Uh, remember, if you think of your axis, you got your y up and down, you got your x left and right. Okay, so Y up and down, if you don't want it to kind of go side to side, it should be the same number. Y should stay the same. Oh, no, I'm a liar. Ah. Uh, y is what you want to change because X you want to stay the same. You don't want it to slide back and forth. You want it to go up and down. At least that's how I want mine. So if I click it, there it goes. Maybe make it a little bit more. Let's make it 12, 17. There we go. That's good. I like that. So start. All that. So you can put anything on here. And you can put like your name on here if you want to have credit on the splash screen or whatever. But anyway, so we want to click this button. And when this button clicks, we want it to go back into our game. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that like this. Um, events. And the green flag is clicked. Uh, if then, if then, if then. Control. If then. Now, I'm only grabbing one if then. We're not doing, not doing it forever because we're only going to click it one time. All right? We're not going to be able to click it over and over and over and over and over. So if then, and then sensing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. When, oh, here we go, mouse down. So that means if you click the mouse down, something will happen. So when the green flag is clicked, if I click, then I change the look to the other backdrop. Switch to, this is my assistant's bank part here, uh, switch to this backdrop. So let's see if it works. Click it. Hello. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Oh. Operators? No, that should work. If mouse down, and switch the backdrop. All right, I gotta pause it, see what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. All right, I figured it out. I'm an idiot. Here we go. Let's do this. So, um, splash screen, uh, this whole thing, no, no, we don't, we don't need this. Uh, so I'm going to take this switch backdrop out because I still need that. All this, get rid of. Now, if I go over here to events, I think I was on sensing before. If I go over here to events, I'm going to grab the one that says when this sprite is clicked. Duh. So when this sprite is clicked, let's go switch the back, backdrop. So if I try it out, boom, love it. Sweet. Uh, but now if I hit the green flag, um, not only do I not have any of my things, I don't have the splash screen going up. So uh, what we're going to do, we have right here when the green flag is clicked, looks, we're going to switch to the boardwalk. So green flag, there it is. Yeah. Now another issue that's coming up, when we hit the start button, it doesn't go away. We want it to go away. So when the spray is clicked, switch to the backdrop, and then we're going to add a hide. Uh, looks. 
So here's your start splash screen. Click. Yay. All right, but where's all our stuff? We're gonna go back into our main character. Gonna grab events, and we're gonna grab when backdrop switches. And once again, all these crazy letters are my assistant's bank park. When the backdrop switches to this, we want it to show again. So we're gonna come down here to show. Then I'm gonna grab watermelon too. I am not going to do my uh, my uh, enemy there. Okay, I'm gonna show you why. No, no, button two. Yeah, I'm gonna put a, a show here as well. Okay, stop. Play. There it is. Okay, so I got my splash screen. I hit my start button. That thing's going wild. Where's my Griffin? Oh, there he is. I don't know what he was doing over there. But anyway. Whee. Okay. That works. But my Griffin was way over here. I couldn't find him. So I'm just going to put in a start position. That'll be fine. Okay. So that means every time I start it, he's going to start right in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Also, the variables. We need to bring the variables back as well. Show. Show lives and score. Okay. Now, I didn't add my enemy, and I didn't add it for a reason. Because once again, once I start, I don't want to lose lives right away. But what we can do is we can kind of add levels. Okay. So, um, let's see here. Let's see here. When. Let's have the, the levels change when the score hits 10. Okay. Just, okay. So we're going to have the levels change when the score hits 10. So level change for me is going to mean a different backdrop. Okay. So let's do something kind of plain. Let's do stripes. So this is going to be level 2. And uh, Griffin event. When the green flag is clicked, grab an if then, if operators, what am I doing here, what am I doing here, okay, so I need a, if my variable hits 10, then if score, okay, here we go. If I'm going to grab, where is this? Equals, equals, this guy. Okay. If score, this guy's up. If score equals 50, now I want that to equal 10. Okay, if score equals 10, then I'm going to switch to a new backdrop. Looks, switch to backdrop. I don't want boardwalk, I want stripes. That's what this is. So if the score equals 10, it'll change to stripes. And then I'm going to come over here to my uh, my enemy. And I'm going to grab control. Nope, events. The green flag is clicked. Control. And if then. Operators. No, 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 no. I need when the background changes. If the background changes. Where are we at here? Ah, there it is. When the background backdrop switches to stripes, I want him to show. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Welcome to the watermelon game. Click. So I get some points here. Okay, when the score hits 10, switch back around, stripes. Do 
I think I put that in there forever. See, this is all part of coding. Just uh, trying things out as you go. There it is. And now I got my enemy coming after me. Is your basic splash screen as a basic level builder as well and then uh, the last thing we want to do is when lives hit zero we want a, uh, a game over to pop up that's gonna be very similar to the splash, splash screen so uh, we're gonna choose a backdrop for game over I could have all these things still go around. Um, one cool thing that you could do possibly is to get rid of what you're trying to collect and just have all your enemies if you've added a whole bunch so you could just try to avoid them. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them all off so it just says game over and you feel bad for yourself. So, um, I'm going to go to events when the backdrop switches to game over. We're going to do a hide and put that over our watermelon and over my bad guy as well. And then I'll hide my variables as well. Hide lives. Hide lives again. This time I can score. All right. And with that, that should do it. I'll play the game one more time. Um, but hopefully this has shown you what you need to do to make a splash screen and a game over screen and to add different levels. So. Thank you for watching. Here's my game. <laughs>